all right all right welcome to Bikas web channel my name is Bikas and I'm here back again with another video and this video is also a part of project that we have been working on as you can see it's called easy link and you can find everything in the description here is a github repo I will put this also in the description and there is an entire playlist where we have studied this from the very scratch until here in today's video we will be mostly focusing on this part so creating this table uh, so the table view both in mobile as well as in desktop obviously we can also use uh, some pre-made uh, tables from react material or any other react table uh, library but we'll try to do this uh, in our own way and let's see how far we can go in today's video and if that's what you are looking for smash the like button if you are new to this channel if you want to see uh, entire series then please uh, subscribe my channel that way you will be the first person getting notified with that being said let's start the video here we are in our uh, vs code project so uh, first thing first uh, to have this uh, table we need data and for that let's do a couple of set of here so first thing i will go here in the url type and i will copy this type and then we will also need that here in our front end so let's do that first and then second thing is we have these services so let's create uh, something called url okay so we will do that and then in url service uh, we need to do a couple of things first thing is we want to import http client that's what we want to do and then we also want to have our get auth user if i remember correctly that's what we have from util and then use auth okay and then we need types so let's also do that url type here okay so i think this is enough so now let's create our service so this will be get url for user and itself will be a async function and we will be returning something in promise and that will be array and the type is url type okay so since this is async so we will be having promise written and then that will return array of url type here we go first we need user id because without user id we can't actually fetch stuff for user right so this is good the next is let's open try catch block and then here output to do so you can do a better error handling showing uh, something in the ui and and so on or if you have a state management then passing it or if you have a snack bar and then showing there and those kind of things however in our case we will just do error and we will also return error okay so we don't have this so we need to go and create this so for that let's go inside our use auth and we can actually even pass our user here but the problem is uh, this react has issue with it. whenever we use something with use it it consider it as a hook and then it will not let us use it here because this is actually not a component okay so obviously we can just change this name but also we can do something else so let's try to do something else just go here and then i will create this so now we have this function called get auth user and uh, it has this kind of things so we have decoded and everything and then let's see so this ss token type will have email and is logged in uh, if I remember correctly, we have also passed some ID. So this SS token, we need to also modify here. And then here, we need to keep a string. All right. Okay, so this looks uh, pretty good. So next, let's go to dashboard. And let's do everything in dashboard. And then later, maybe in future videos, I will try to optimize this. Uh, I can already see that we have this post here. Uh, this should also... Uh, go here in the API services here and so on but as I said 
let's make uh, things working first and then let's clean the mess okay so uh, what we want to do um, we will like to have a data here so the data will be okay so let's go under here and I will create a new variable from use state and something like that we can already give the type here and then the type will be array of URL type that's the thing and we can call it URL data yes and set URL data okay I think that's good in here actually let's give a better name so I will say user URL data even though we know it's users URL data but let's just write it here so we have this and we will be setting everything here so the next thing is we want to paste uh, URLs for user so somewhere here let's so let's have a function called page URLs for user and this will be a sync function and then let's have a try catch even though we are actually not handling any error we'll just at least console log and then in the try we will just say URL data is await and we have this get URLs for user and that comes from our services folder here so that's what we are using and then we'll just do that because we don't need to pass there anything and if we have that then we can set this with URL data and then the next is we have to call this so let's just use react use effect and there are changes with use effect and other hooks and I'm planning to make a separate video about that however for now let's just do something like this okay so if everything is good then we should be actually fetching users data and we should be already setting that here and now we can actually just just check it so let's go here and then I will have something what is this so that is here and then I will just user URL data map and that will be data and then I can just say in the P data dot name let's just do so and I'm getting some problem here okay I think so and you can see we have data now we have data let's go and let's create a table so we can we can inside component we can call URL table or we can even just call table and then make it generic but for now let's just do URL table here and it will be URL table the TSX and I guess we want also CSS so here we have table and then okay so I paused the video and I quickly created a table so I will walk you through so this uh, table will take uh, some props so one prop will be columns and the column will be the array of column and what is column? A column will just have level and field okay and you will understand what is level and field so basically all these thing what we are showing here these are level okay name is label link is label that is what we render in the UI however if you 
uh, check the data that what we were getting earlier so in this case we have this created it we have updated it, and that's something we don't want to show it in the ui because uh, for user it doesn't make sense what is url code or what is uh, for example created it okay it might make sense but still we don't want to write it like this so we may want to write uh, like edit date or whatever so so this is something we will be using internally however uh, label is something we will be showing externally so that's what label and field is basically all the field that we are getting from the back end so those are the field so that's column and then a row is basically it can be anything so it can be all these things but it can also be anything so that's why uh, we are making like this and the whole idea of this is we can use this uh, table even though now it's url table but we can make it generic so that's the whole idea so no matter whatever you pass the column and then whatever rows you pass as long as uh, the field in the in the column name and then the rows match then this table should work that's the idea so that's why i created this if you just see the table itself then it's just a table i have the class name and it has d head and basically heading is just uh, looping through everything inside the column and then we are giving the field as column and then we are printing the column uh, level and then if you go in the body section here we are uh, looping through all the rows we have so that's basically each of these rows and each of those rows will also have column and it needs to have column okay so again we are looping through column inside and then we have this uh, td here so what td is is it is uh, printing the row so row is whatever the row we get and then the name of the column or the field of the column so let's say when we want to print name it will be uh, any row of that array and then it will pick the, this name so that's what we are doing it so it's almost like row and then the name of the field will be for example created it so it's like that okay so that's what we are doing and we are also generating this id a bit of a unique way and this should do the job and we still have to handle it for the mobile and such uh, but for now let's just uh, deal with a desktop person and then i also went here and just added like a very basic css just some color some font size and some font weight and that's it pretty basic steps and everything is there in the github repo so you can just uh, take it from the repo if you are confused so let's go to dashboard and then let's input our url table here so i'll just go here okay so we have url table there and then what we can do is we can somewhere here now instead of this instead of this what we can do is we can create url table and remember it will require some props here and that is columns and rows okay so what will be columns that's first thing and then what will be rows that's second thing so we need to generate some column from our data and we also need to probably do something with rows from our data okay columns uh we can pass an array here and we can actually even have uh, something separate so let's just create somewhere here const table column and that will be an array okay so this is what our table column will be so the label is whatever we want to give and the field should exactly match with our data structure here so that's what we should do and these are the thing we have and accents is something we don't have in our data structure but we will be using that to render uh, this kind of accents so that's our table column and we can just go and pass it here so the rows is something we will be getting from data here so if you see um there are a couple of things we want to do for example this url code we don't want to return it as it is we want to modify it it has our uh, base url there that's the first thing and then there is edit date and accents okay so let's try to do something first 
So let's go here. User URL data. Let's do that. And let's try to see do we have. Okay, so there is some problem here. URL. Um, maybe I have imported something wrong here. Yes, I did. Okay, so you can see we already have uh, item here and we have name we have link so this is something we have to modify and then this is something we have to modify okay so for that i will create a helper function and then we will be using that helper function somewhere so and we want to do a couple of things here so we want to read we we like to take something here so data will be url type i guess that's what we want and then we'll return something we'll write that uh, later so what we want to return we want to return everything that data has and then we want to also render url code as combination of something so so it will be this base url and then in actual case it will be your domain url and then this code because that's what we want to show to our user that's one thing and then instead of just showing created it let's add this library called moment okay so let's import moment here and by the way there is probably a new thing nowadays um, that is something called intel or something with date that you don't even need a moment for this kind of thing however for now i will just use moment and i will just do data dot created it because it may be string so we want to make sure it's a number and then do i need to divide it by a thousand i'm not so sure let's do something like this and then yeah and then we have to do also something with action and for now i'm just gonna do deep test okay uh, let's just see if whether it uh, renders react node or not and then we need to use this function here so let's do map and do something like that okay now if you go here yes we have uh, some date and we have this link we should also make this clickable uh, but at least we are not getting anything with accents and most probably we also didn't do this okay so okay so that's good we have all these and this should be pretty good uh, go and let's start uh, attaching action there and to attach action I may want to do something so instead of this I will create a function and and that function will be render actions and I will be creating it here so let's go here and then it will be a render action function that will take data as URL type and that will give us react node and then basically i can do something like that it will be a div and then we need a button actually two buttons so one will be edit and this time i'm going to use 
just this style so I'm not gonna create a class name and such and then we already have render actions however it needs to give us data so now you see we have uh, edit here and we have delete here and if I click it I'm not getting anything I'm not getting anything and that's not what we wanted so when we click we want it at least some data ID what's that data ID let's refresh it okay so I didn't get anything when I click on edit okay so the reason is we are not doing console log here now you can see we get ID and probably with ID or even if we want we can even get whole data here so so now if I refresh this page you see I get whole data here I get whole data here so that way we can use this uh, data to edit and then delete okay so it's working pretty good so the next thing is obviously we have to hide all these things when we have table and maybe have a button somewhere here and everything but that will be the last video i will be dealing with but before that let's make the main thing working and for that uh, next thing is i'm just kind of uh, a bit lost here okay so one thing we can do is mobile version all right you know what let's go and let's do the mobile version okay so let's uh, find a way to identify whether we are in mobile or not so I will have a boolean value here and well if we will go with mobile first approach then we should be keeping this true but we now went with a desktop first approach and it kind of looks until here pretty good so if we break it around 769 which is pretty standard way then I think we will be good okay so how can we uh, identify whether something is mobile or not so we can also use some class name and do media query there but for now I'll just go with uh, window size so let's use react use effect and actually this is not related to react at all uh, this is mostly javascript uh, thing so what we can do is we can create a function called handle window size and that will create ui event so this is uh, pretty native here already built in so then what i want to do is i want to have width and that will be it no it's not width first we need window yeah well i think i'll just write w so that will be ether target as window yes okay and now we can have window and we can get a lot of things from window so if window dot you can see it has inner height inner width and basically everything so that's almost same as when we do window you see we get all this window and then if I do window dot inner width okay window dot inner width is 982 we are checking inner width and if inner width is 769 or less then we were setting is mobile to true if not we are setting that again back to false we also want to do something window 
head event listener and then we want to listen it when we have risen, resizing and then we use this return in react use effect and that way we will clear this resize event that we initiated so whenever this component unmounts then we are also clearing that and that way we are sure that it doesn't stay there forever so now let's actually take this out and then you know my old technique and that is render desktop view we can surely create a separate component but I don't want that and this will be our desktop view and I already have a mobile view also and then here in this let's create a fragment so what we can do is we can check is mobile if that's the case we will render mobile view if not we will render desktop view okay so what i have in render mobile view is i'm just using only t head it may be anti pattern but this does the job and then in there inside uh, first i'm looping through rows.map because i want um, if you see here in the design i want this color background uh, kind of row there and then also if you see in the design we need this name for every cases here we only need it in the header but we want that uh, almost in each of the rows so that's why i'm looping through head here and then inside the head i'm looping through column and then i'm giving this kind of thing so the label of the column here uh, we only had once but here for each row we need this kind of column name so that's why we are giving that and then basically whatever i did here i'm doing the same thing the only difference is here we were doing in td here we are doing here inside row because that's how we are rendering things so let's save this let's go here so this is our desktop view if i refresh this is desktop and please have a have an eye on here so as it goes down as it goes down 769 you can see it went there okay so we have something like this and then if i clear everything if i delete okay we are getting that data so everything is good except the css part so let's go here i have this css here i paused the video and i did so table head i'm having margin bottom here and then for mobile table so i added uh, if you see here i added i still have this main table so we are still using the main class but i have this optional for mobile table and then just for these i just did a couple of these kind of things and that's it so now if we go here you can see that we have this pretty close to our design sure and if you see we are also printing action here however we don't have that in the design and one way to hide it is uh, you can just pass here that hide level and for everything we can just have false or this can be even optional however for something where we don't want we can have we can even say hide level in mobile for example if we do something like this and then if we go to our url table we need to also have this one more option so let's go here i was actually planning to give this task for you however i ended up doing it myself looks like so here in the mobile view we can check here conditionally so okay actually this p itself is a bad choice so first of all i don't want this p to be here okay and then the next thing is 
Теж такі з... Окей, я думаю, це дуже добре. Так, ми маємо це. І якщо я вийду тут, і якщо я зроблю цей пульс, то ми отримуємо акцент. If I make this true, then we are not getting accents. Okay, so I already noticed a couple of bugs. First one is whenever I refresh it, uh, it shows the desktop view. And that is because it only start counting when we start resizing this. So that's one bug. And then you can improve other things, for example, adding the margin here. And then also this button can look like how it is in the design. But that's up to you. I'm not going to work on that. Uh, so far, we already managed to make it pretty okay table and then render the data. Let's also try one more time. Uh, let's go here and let's try to add this GitHub repo. Okay, so I added it. However, this is not rendered here and uh, there is also improvement there that whenever we post something we should refresh this list if i refresh the page you can see this one is here so the next one is how to handle edit and delete uh, delete it's rather easy uh, edit will require a little bit adjustment that is we need to either take them to the new page here uh, so that they can edit or we can also have like some sort of view like that and for that first let's handle delete okay so we need to go here in our back end so let's go to server side so we go here in route and we go in url route somewhere here i will just go do delete and then all we want is url code because that's kind of using unique identifier we even have it here in the git and then we have in delete and then we want to make sure that it's only accessible when someone is authenticated and then i can copy something from here actually i can copy something from here okay so i have that code if we don't have that then we can say bad request and then here now instead of get url by so let's go inside services and here somewhere delete and we want url code that will be string and then we will just do try cats so if there is a problem we'll just say it's a problem if not we will just try to do cons so we want to delete one and what we want to delete we want to delete something with url code is need to wrap like that and then I just return okay so this looks pretty good to me now we can go to router again and then here instead of did 
delete URL by delete code and we can say this is successful and we can data all right so we have this and let's go to our services here in and then here we can also do const delete url copy this one here so instead of user id what i can do is i can just go here and do url code that's good that's good i think this is pretty good so now we can safely go to dashboard here and then do i want to have a function here okay so since we have page user let's also do that delete url so code and no, i will just write you delete url of course we will need url code here also basically i'm repeating the same thing okay so then all i need is this one here wherever we are deleting so what's it here yes so i can do this and data dot url code okay so i don't think i need that as async function mm, nope and i don't need this await okay so the reason behind that is not because of async and await but because that function is somewhere outside so let's do this now this should be good okay let's try <laughs> let's go to this test let's delete it and we immediately got some problem here so let's refresh and delete okay so we have some course issue okay so let's go check it out what we did we definitely did some issue here okay so we are trying to call router that delete okay i think i may know the reason Okay, so this is good let's go to the, our front-end services and yes this one here so it should not be get it should be delete okay so because I did it get so it thought that because get is here no actually here and because it wants to redirect so some weird things are happening there I am sorry about that let's go now let's refresh let's clear this let's go to delete okay so it did try to delete it went here it had this code and then it says not found um but it is there right okay so it says not found so i think that not found came from here so we will use our favorite debugger here so let's go to ok 
Okay, so let's go inside here. Delete user. So we are here in delete user. So what happens? I click this. It doesn't even go there. And then what about here? Okay, doesn't even go there. What about here? Okay, I think my debugger is not working. So it is doing something. All right, another problem. So you see, I have this and it should be like that. So now if I delete it comes here if I do it it goes here and that's good so let's remove all the breakpoints delete it successfully so when we refresh this should be gone and that's gone so I can also delete this and it's gone of course uh, if we want to optimize it properly, we should uh, tell user and when the action is happening, we should uh, do this button loading and, and, and then say that this is deleted and then refresh the list. But those are things for future videos. I think that's all for this video. It's already pretty late, uh, almost midnight here and I'm super tired and exhausted. So I will continue with uh, this edit and dialogue and everything in next video. And we are almost uh, near to the end, maybe one or two videos more and then we should be done with uh, everything what we started with. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you agree, uh, then smash the like button. If you haven't already, then subscribe my channel and also press the bell notification icon. And if you want to connect with me, you can connect me by LinkedIn. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you have any comments, you can leave those in the comment box below. With that being said, thank you so much for being until this point and I hope to see you in new videos. Until then, keep coding. Bye-bye.